Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back with another tutorial lesson and this one we're actually going to use a light to cast a texture. I don't know if you've done this before. I didn't know if you knew you could do this, but we're getting ready to have some fun. And guess what? It's super simple and very easy. I'm just going to drop a plane in, kind of zoom out a little bit, hit 7 for the top view, maybe scale it like this. Looks pretty good, so let's drop in a light. Shift A, drop in an image light. All right, so I'll just take the light and come over to the light properties, click on the little light bulb, and immediately I'm just gonna go ahead and click use nodes. And what you see is you've got a light output and you've got an emission. So we don't really need to add too much to this. But one of the first things we're going to add is going to be color ramp. So let's just type in ramp and drop that in. And now we can just pull this over. Let's get a little more space going here. And I'll drag the factor out. I'm going to put in a noise texture on the factor. Now you can bring the vector out and I'll put in mapping. Bring out this vector. Type in COR for texture coordinate. And we can leave it on generated for now. And with the light selected, we can come over here and put 5,000. And we can make this just yellow so it shows up. All right, so nothing has happened. So the next thing we have to do is put a node between here and here to tell the color ramp and the noise texture what's going on in other words to bring it to a visible factor so i'll just type in math and i'll drop a math node between the noise and the color ramp 0.5 is pretty good but just put it to subtract and now if we kind of play around with the scale you'll see that we have a value showing up so right now you could bring this up to say three on the emission and we can also come back to the light, change it to pretty much any color you want. I went back to yellow. Too funny. All right, so I'm going to stick with that one for now. All right, and so for a little bit of added fun here, I was kind of playing around with this tornado that I made in another shader. And hang on. Let's see how this works. And if I just <laughs> if I move this thing around... You can see, and I'll change the spot size. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's actually, uh, let's see if I can kind of clear that up a little bit. Yeah, that's a picture being cast through a light. So all I did was you hit spacebar and type in image, and you get the image texture. And then you just go in and open whatever you want. And it seems like the current settings, the way they are, are good enough. So all you really got to do is um, just drop this in. Drop in a mix node before the emission. And if you want to cast a picture as a light as well, you can do that. And it's probably going to depend a little bit on how, that, how it shows up. There's a lot of... Like, my image looks pretty grayscale. Like... Here's a picture of the image that I rendered out in 4K, just so you can kind of get a bird's eye view. And I switch back over, go to the layout. And so let's see, what is that going to be like on the Z? Maybe increase it a little bit. And you just got to kind of play around with these things. Anyways, I just thought that'd be pretty cool to show y'all. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching. There we go. That's pretty squared up right there. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, and I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. Until then, have fun casting a light as a noise texture. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, wait. Just kidding. I forgot there's one more thing we can do. Let's switch this over to 4D. If you didn't watch the whole video, you missed out. Switch this over to 4D, bring up the timeline, 
And let's see if our frame value works here. So if I, so if I put in hashtag frame slash 200 and hit enter and then hit play, we now have a fully animated texture. Now hang on, it gets more fun. Now if I come over here and press I on the color for the light and then move this over to say something like blue, I'll probably have to pause it. So I move this over to something like blue and then hit I again. And now if I hit play and I've got these frames in here already, so it goes from green to blue. Anyways, there's so many things you can do with this. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to smash that like, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.